hello everyone now i'm here with my next video of loops in this i'm considering nested loops and programming of patterns i told you earlier what is nested loop when the loop present inside another loop then it is said to be nested loop any loop inside any loop then it is said to be nested loop now moving further with nested for for inside for is nested for first of all initialization then condition increment decrement of outer loop then again we have inner loop and then the closing of outer loop now moving forward we are having one pattern in front of us where we are having few spaces and then we are having numbers how we are going to do that some sort of tricks needed for doing all these things first of all i told you previously in my videos that how we are going to display a pattern look in this way if you know then it is very easy if you don't i will tell you first of all you have to keep in mind we have five rows this is one then two then three in this way we are having five rows first row then second one and then third and then fourth and then fifth fifth row and we are having exactly five columns five rows and five columns means one variables we have to use for rows one variable we have to use for columns and one more thing you have to keep in mind that in one row you have first thing that is space and the next thing that is number means you want a counting of spaces first of all and then you want numbers in this way you want numbers how we are going to do that first of all one for is going to count rows and the next for is going to count spaces another for is going to count numbers and then we have system order printed in for next line but here we are having our counting from 1 2 3 4 and 5 means our row is moving from 1 to 5 and how our spaces works it depend on us how we are going to put our numbering of spaces if i am putting like this actually value of i here is 1 here is 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 value of i is increasing one by one that's why i'm writing in this way if i am putting value that is 1 here then 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 1 2 1 either in this way or in this way 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 4 3 any of the counting you can take which one is easy for you 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 3 4 four but any of the numbering you can take but you have to keep one thing in your mind the counting should be in that way that first counting should be four times then next one three times then two times then one time here we are having four times three times two times and one time in that way you have to count if i am taking it in this manner see if i am taking my counting in this manner then the starting values were same see an ending value is fixed that is four 
in this way I am taking some common things and I am applying it in my loops. See how. I am having a pattern in this way and I am going to create logic. Logic means 1 to 5 times we are having rows. 5 rows we are having. And see, I am starting counting from i. i is 1. And then 2, I told you earlier, in this way I am counting spaces till end of. End value is always 4. I told you previously, 2 to spaces I am taking. Because here also each and every number have one space. That's why we require two spaces for one number. One space for number and one space for having one space between the numbers. We are having two spaces. See in this way. If I am taking you backward, see. Here we are having one space. Here we are having one space, here we are having one space, here we are having one space. Means if we are displaying a number with space, it is okay. But when we are displacing, displaying one space at a time, then we require one more space. Because we are having space here. If we will display one space, actually we require two space together. Then it completes one box. One space, then another space. One space, then another space. In this way, we want two, two spaces together. See, that's why I'm writing all these things. So that you can able to understand. Two spaces together, we required. Because a number have one space. And two spaces together create particular location. And then, see, the value of J starting value is 1 ending value is i that's why starting value is 1 ending value is i and then we are having j plus plus we will display our j here the spaces will be displayed the numbers will be displayed and after that we will change our line in this way you have your pattern with spaces see the next pattern In this way, I want my pattern. See, the logic doesn't differ a lot. How? See. Again, 1 to 5. 5 rows we are having. And one more thing. See, I told you about spaces from 1 to 4. But now I am taking only one space because in, in between the numbers we are not having any of the spaces. See, that's why I had taken one space only. And now, what about J? J is doing the counting of numbers. J is doing the counting of numbers but I am going to display I only. I told you earlier that when in one row we are having same numbers continuously, it means we are displaying our i. When in one row we are having different different numbers. It means we are going to display our j. In that way. See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is for rows. And this one is for spaces. And this one is for numbers. In this way, we have to create a logic, rows, spaces, numbers and different lines. One by one, we want only one space here because in between numbers, we don't have any space. That's why I did not written here, I plus space. Now, see, somehow I'm changing few things and see the pattern we are having in a different way. If I am changing here, that is i plus space. If I am writing i plus space here, see what will happen. See, 
pattern look in this manner means somehow we are having in triangle in this manner previously we are having right angle triangle now see the tri triangle will be changed in front of us see in this way it is created previously it is run in this way just one space create a pattern in a different way only one space if you are writing space here it will create pattern like this how previously a number doesn't have any space if you are providing space it look like this see here if identify from here previously though it doesn't have any space in between now they are having space this triangle is created like this previously it is right angle triangle in this way now it is in this way means one space can create a different pattern so be aware with the spaces what you want to do and try to handle such type of patterns if i'm writing pattern in this way what will happen somehow previously i'm having a number 1 2 3 4 5 now i'm having number 5 4 3 2 1 in this way what i have to do the counting should be somehow related with our i it will helpful for us we can create it and in another way also we can have different variables also you can take any of the variable and keep the value here whatever you want to keep and change it for spaces i am just trying to relate my row with the spaces see here i am writing 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 somehow i have to create a some link here so that first of all i don't want any of the spaces means space should be zero here and then it should work like one then i want two spaces then i want three spaces then i want four spaces how should i create a link between the countings of these spaces with these countings i want to count in this way but see you had already know about this type of pattern what we are doing previously we are having one variable that store 54321 1 and it provides you the value of i and see one here we are having one that is constant value what will happen this one is i this one is constant value i told you earlier also i is for row i'm taking i for row j for column and the value of i is changing from here 5 to 1 j starts from 1 and on i what about spaces because now i want first of all zero then one then two then three then four in this way i want some sort of countings you can put any of the counting here but keep one thing in your mind space should all the spaces should should be counted in this way only one then two 0 1 2 3 and 4 what i should write here so that i can have my counting see in this way we are having a pattern see i'm writing something here for spaces this will work for spaces this will work for the numbers and this will change a line and i told you earlier i i for rows this one is for spaces and this one is for numbers now see always try to dry run so that you can able to understand 
how these pattern works see if i'm taking the value of i is 5 and here what i'm doing i'm taking the number that is k equals to 5 5 is greater than 5 no it is not that's why the counting will be 0 i told you i want the counting of spaces first counting should be 0 and then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 in this way i want the counting of spaces see first one is correct one i am getting 0 now if the value of i is 4 see k is equals to 5 in 5 is greater than 4 yes means one time it will be executed next time it will be 4 is greater than 4 no means one time it is going to be executed i told you i want first zero then one then two then three then four in this way the counting will work first of all it provides me zero then one then two then three then four and one more thing i told you see it starts from the numbers will counting of numbers will start from one and on i it will increase one by one and j will be displayed because i told you that or in rows when the numbers were not changed it means we have to display our j and if the numbers were same means we are displaying our i now we are what we are displaying we are displaying our j because the numbers were changed continuously and then we are having our next line if you try to draw in you can able to understand more and one more thing it is not compulsory that what i am writing you have to write the same logic you can have your own logic now i am moving further with the next pattern see if i want to display my pattern in this way see i told you nothing i have to do just keep one thing in my mind that spaces matters now numbers doesn't have any spaces that's why i'm not writing space here and one more thing i am i'm having one space here that's why i'm getting pattern in this way and if i'm changing a little bit then i am getting pattern this way what i have to write just i plus space one space i have to put and i'm getting pattern in this way means it is just a row of space and we are getting a pattern converted into one pattern is already converted into this way it is a row of just one space try to create your own patterns and you will see the magic of programming now see i'm moving further and just want to say that have your patterns tell me your doubts if you have do clear it with me i'm going to upload few more patterns and for now goodbye and good luck